If you're managing multiple Google Ads accounts or you're trying to manage your own Google Ads campaign while also still trying to grow and operate your own business, I know that you can be very pressed for time. So what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to share with you how you can save time while optimizing your Google Ads campaigns so that you're still seeing those results, so there's extra conversions and sales increase every single month. And what I'm gonna show you here is two processes that I use in order to save so much time when it comes to reviewing and optimizing my Google Ads accounts remembering that we're not sacrificing performance. So this video is not about taking shortcuts. This video is all about putting in place the proper processes so you can quickly review any account that then allows you to come back and make the correct optimizations. And the process that I'm gonna be showing you is a process that I've refined over the past 15 years. And this was especially true when I was directly managing over 50 Google Ads campaigns while also managing a team as I was consulting to a larger digital agency as the head of digital, plus also running my own business with its own staff. And as you can see, it was a very, very busy time, but it was manageable and it was something that I was able to do for an extended period of time of over five years because I had these processes in place. And that's what I wanna be taking you through today. Now, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you're new here, I release two new training videos just about Google Ads each and every week. And if you wanna stay notified for whenever I release a new training, make sure that you not only subscribe, but also turn on that notification bell so that you can make sure that you're staying up to date with all of the different changes that's happening in Google Ads and that will happen no doubt throughout 2024. So with all of that said, let's get into today's teaching. And the first process that I wanna take you through is what I call the three minute Google ad account review. And what we're doing here is as the name suggests, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can review any account and it doesn't matter how large the account is, you can review that account in three minutes and you can highlight the areas that you need to be able to come back and optimize. And what I would do here is that when I had those multiple accounts, so those 50 different accounts that I was running, I would choose the 10 to 15 accounts that I was gonna optimize that day. And what I firstly did is I ran through this three minute process. So what it would allow me to do is in, if I was doing 10 accounts that day in, in the first half an hour of my day, I would be able to know exactly the performance of each account and where I needed to come back and spend some more time on later throughout that day. Or if you're a business owner, you can do this in the morning and just do a quick three minute review of your Google Ads account, which will then let you know whether you need to spend some more time optimizing, and that could be later that day or a later time throughout the week, or whether it just needs a quick further check. So that can take you through the exact steps that we complete in a three minute review. We are gonna jump into a screen share, but before we get into that screen share, I just wanna let you know essentially what we're doing here. And what we're looking at doing is we're looking to see long-term data. So rather than just looking at the last 30 days or the last seven days or the last 14 days of performance, if you have that data there, we wanna be looking at a good six to nine months of data. And then we wanna be looking at it, not in a daily view, we wanna be looking at it in a weekly view so that we can see those trends. Now this is especially important because if you're using different Google Ads bidding strategies, on a day-to-day -day basis, you could see your account go up and down and performance go high and performance go low. But on a weekly basis, you get a much better trend line. So that's the first thing that we're looking at longer bits of data, looking at trend lines of at least a week. And then the second part of what you're doing is you're then going into a campaign view. And if you've got multiple campaigns, what you're trying to look at is you're trying to focus on the campaigns which are spending more money, but not giving you the highest level of results. Or if you only have one campaign, you're looking at the ad group level. And once again, you're looking there is that the different keyword themes or the different products that are spending the most money and not giving you any results. So what you're doing there is you're essentially prioritizing where you need to be spending your optimization focus for that week. Because what I see time and time again is people waste a lot of time on areas of their account or campaigns that are only giving them five to 10% of their spend. So even if they were to double the results of that campaign, it's not gonna overly improve the performance of their total account. Whereas if you're focusing on a campaign which is taking maybe 60% of your total ad spend, if you can increase the performance of that account by a five, 10 or 20%, that's gonna make a massive difference to the performance of your account. So we're really looking at two steps. Firstly, we're looking at longer term data to get the overall trend of what's happening in the account. And then we're looking at focusing our optimizations on where we're spending the most amount of money. So right now, let's jump into that screen share so I can take you through this 
three minute account review process. All right, so firstly, what you wanna do here is that you wanna grab some larger chunks of data. So you can see here, I'm in the dashboard overview section. So I'm looking at all of our campaigns that are currently running. And rather than just looking at the last 30 days, I've gone through and I've grabbed data since the start of August, and we're looking at till midway of January. So we're looking at about five months of data here. And what I also wanna stress is that I've started the date range on a Monday and finished it on a Sunday. Now, the reason for why I've done that is because that then allows us to change this over to a weekly view. So if we look at a daily view, you can see here that this data is really, really hard to read. So if we're looking at here, you know, with our cost per conversion or the number of conversions, we're not getting a real picture of what's happening here. Whereas if we switch this over to a weekly view, we can see here that at the start of August, we were running at a cost per conversion of above 300. And then you can see through here that it's become a lot more balanced in what is happening. And then if we run the cost over here, this allows us to check to see that is this performance done just because of less cost. But you can see here, we've started to increase the spend out into different markets. And while that's happening, we're still being seeing a drop in our cost per conversion. From a very, very quick view that I can see overall, this account is performing quite strongly. Now, now, as always, there's always what areas that we can improve, but if we then want to come back and have a look at what's been happening in this last little section, we can go to the weekly basis. And then what we're seeing there is that once again, we're seeing that we have started to see a bit of a drop, especially over the last little bit. And then if you did want to do a 30 day review, what I find here is that if you do the last 30 days, you go through and review this compare function. And what this does is that this then lets us know what's been happening in the last 30 days. So yes, our cost per conversion has gone up by $2, but you can see we're seeing extra conversions and we're also seeing a lot more reach. So what I know from here is I know with this account is that we have been growing out into some extra markets. So we're really happy with this performance because yes, we have seen a slight little increase in our cost per conversion, but we've increased spend by just under 10% and we've only seen that cost per conversion go up by about two to 3%. Sorry if my mass is a little bit out there, but you get the picture. So you can also then put your own campaign knowledge into this so that you have a really good trend of what's happening. So straight away, now because I've been explaining this, this has taken longer than a minute, but if I wasn't talking over the top of this, I would have been able to get that information out in about a minute. So then what you wanna be doing from there, let's just go back to a little bit of a longer date range. So what we wanna go from there is we've looked at the total account data. Now we wanna go into the individual campaigns. And what we're looking at focusing on here is I then filter this down by cost. I wanna see where we're spending the most money and what's happening with our cost per conversion here. So you can see this one down the bottom here, the cost per conversion is good, but in terms of our spend, it's only spent a $1,500 off a total of just under $40,000. So at the moment, I'm not going to waste my time with long term optimizations on this campaign. What I want to be focusing on is this top one, which is also their high ticket items. So ultimately, they want to be getting this cost per conversion down to about the $70 mark for this account. So this is the one that we need to focus on. Now, this was the one that was initially at $300 because this was our initial campaign. We're then broken it out and we're already a long way there. We just got that little bit to go to get the performance that the client wants. But what we do from there is we then go into our individual ad group. So we've firstly filtered it down by the campaign. We're finding the campaign we need to focus on. And then we're going through and we're filtering it down by the ad group. And what you can see see through here is that with this top ad group, we're happy with that. We, you know, we've got a really healthy conversion rate and our cost per conversion is, as I said, they were looking at $75, $80. So we're nearly there. But this one, which is spending around about the same amount, so only about $80 less in spend, but the cost per conversion is $11 more expensive per conversion. So that now is the ad group that we're going to be focusing on. And what we would do from there is that we would obviously go through our optimization process, checking our search terms, doing our different ad copy split tests, reviewing our audiences and all of those optimization checks. But we wouldn't be focusing too much on these other ad groups and we wouldn't be focusing too much on these other campaigns. So what we've done is we've whittled it down to the ad group, which is gonna give us the most benefit. And what you do is you repeat the process. Every week when you're going through and doing this process is that you're just focusing on the ad groups that need the most attention. So rather than attacking the whole account every single week, we're just looking at the core areas of this account, which is gonna give us the most benefit and the most increase and uplift in our results. So in that first step of that three minute review, it's all about finding finding the areas that you need to optimize in order to get the biggest uplift or increase in performance in your total Google Ads account. And then once you've found the area, so the different campaigns or the ad groups that you wanna focus on, that's when you then go through the process of using an optimization checklist. 
Now, if you've watched any of my videos here, you'll know that I continue to harp on about this optimization checklist. But the reason for why it's so important is because it not only lets you know all the different optimization actions that you need to complete, but it also gives you a schedule so that you, you know, so that you're not going through and reviewing your bidding strategies every single week because that can be the worst thing for your campaign. You're doing that every 60 to 90 days, whereas some other actions like your search terms and reviewing your search terms to add in some different negative keywords, that's something that you need to be doing you know, a couple of times a week. And that's the strength of the optimization checklist. But what it also does do is that especially if you're running multiple accounts, what I recommend and what I do is that I have a different optimization checklist for each of my individual clients. And then what we also do is that we also duplicate within that one spreadsheet and add individual sheets for each individual month. So for a client, we would have 12 months of individual optimization checklists. And the power of that is, is that it allows you to see the history of what changes you've made, what notes you're making, and especially in the context of a digital agency. If you're a digital agency manager or an owner, by putting in these checklists, what it's doing is, is that if you have a staff member that leaves, you can very, very easily hand over that account to another Google Ads specialist and there won't be as much information lost about the account history and what they've been trying to achieve and the different optimization strategies that they've been using. So rather than going through and having to create this all by yourself, what I wanna do right now is I wanna give you access to my Google Ads optimization checklists and I've got these both set up for service-based businesses and also e-commerce businesses. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklists, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. Once again, thank you for joining me. It's been my pleasure having you here. And if you'd like to see more videos about how to optimize your search campaigns correctly in 2024, go through and watch this video right here. Or if you'd like to see how to optimize your Performance Max campaigns, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.